So this is the home page for Project IDX, and you might be thinking that this looks familiar. And that's because Project IDX is based on Code OSS. So let's start out by initializing a web workspace using Angular. There's more template options available as well, such as with React, Next.js, a blank HTML project, always a winner, and as well as Vue and Svelte. So let's create this project. Project IDX boots up with a virtual machine, and this can take some time, but once it's up and running, you can start developing. But you can use the command palette with command shift P and then open up the new terminal. So let's maximize this for full real estate. So I can run any commands that you're used to running on a Linux-based machine. So if you want to check out the files on the system, I can run ls or ls-l. I can also do a grep search for any files that I might want to find. I'm going to quickly build a string reverser app. I'm going to paste in some basic CSS and HTML, but let's get IDX AI to help out here. To open up the AI chat, we can click on this little button down here. And this is IDX AI chat. I wonder if IDX's AI will do a bit more for me. Let's see if it'll actually build me the whole template. All right, this looks a lot like what I originally wrote, but with Angular. So let's copy and paste it into my existing template. And obviously, there's going to be some errors because I haven't written any of the component code yet. So I'm going to copy the template code. And let's see if IDX will do the rest of the work for me with a prompt. You can see that there is an error in the template. And that's a bit of a problem because I have no idea what it means. So let's copy the error and ask the AI. OK, I see. It's suggesting that I import the forms module into my app module. IDX comes with a Firebase extension that allows you to deploy to Firebase hosting by just clicking a few buttons. IDX asks for permissions to connect to the project, which creates a service account behind the scenes. Now I need to set up the deployment configuration. And usually, this involves creating a Firebase.json file, but I can create this config with a button. I'm going to create a new preview channel by just giving it a name, then click Deploy. So behind the scenes, IDX is building the Angular app and then deploying it out to Firebase hosting. And once it's done, we can use this link. And just like that, the site is deployed to a preview channel. 